Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeff. Today we're doing another balcony review here on my balcony in lovely Vancouver. It's not raining today. And today we'll be talking about the Valence Monitor Coat. The Monitor Coat is one of Valence's most classic design. It's been around for many years and it has existed in many different variations with different interior and exterior fabrics. The one I'm wearing now was from Spring Summer 19, which was the last year it was available to buy before it's discontinued. This monitor coat uses a 40D Gore-Tex Pro face fabric with ripstop. So you can see in the detail shots that it's got a micro grid square pattern throughout the whole interior and exterior of the fabric of the jacket so it doesn't rip when you snag something whenever you're walking around. This is a fully featured raincoat that is good for all seasons. It is regular fit, it is styled for layering. You can wear it with a light insulated jacket, a down puffy jacket, or just a t-shirt and you'd be good throughout the whole season. Quick note, you could even make your own monitor down by wearing a down insulated layer which I'll show later. The monitor coat is a thigh length raincoat which gives you full coverage all the way down the back, pretty much to the knee, the back of your knee for rain protection. As you can see here, it's got a drop hem style here with a classic fishtail in the back. I believe the fishtail makes this coat as if you didn't want a fishtail coat or you just wanted a regular rain coat, you could check out the Sawyer coat from the Arcturus main line. Now let's go over some features of this jacket. The Monarch Co has three exterior pockets. There are two hand pockets here, which are very large. Again, with the panels, it goes from this line to about here. So you get all of this for pocket space for your hands. There's one chest pocket, which is pretty good. You can fit an iPhone 12 Max in here. There are two interior security pockets. As with all valence pieces, they all have interior security pockets. They are both quite large. They have one mega sized one, I would call it, over here. Which is kind of like from this panel. All of that is your security pocket on the left. And on the right, you have a smaller one, which is still very decent sized. Definitely fit your wallet. Small iPhone, passport, and this one. And you'd be good to go. The hood on the monitor coat has two adjustments. Same ones here, that's with the Aris, and there's one in the back, by the base of your neck. So the two over here brings the brim down like that. The one on the back here brings the hood down this way, so it compacts it so you get the coverage you need based on the size of your face. Another feature of the monitor coat is the gossetted cuff by your wrist. So instead of the elastic stretchy cuff you had on my Aris, you have pretty much a, uh, a almost like a gator type system in here, which exists on a lot of valence coats or jackets uh, meant for winter or severe conditions. So it's kind of like an inner liner in here that has the stretch built into this cuff here. So it gives you a good seal so you don't need that Velcro like they do on mainline. Hand coverage, it also has the angular cut shape here. You can see like this, which extends its coverage and gives you a more free range of movement with your wrists. As with all Valence and Arcturus pieces, the monitor coat is cut superbly for an ex extended, perfect range of motion. There's no constrictions anywhere, no bunching up in the elbows or the shoulders. Free to move as wherever you like, uh, except no crashing down on this jacket as it is a thigh length and the zipper goes just about to your crotch. I never really crouch much because I don't want to destroy this uh, lovely zipper here or cause any issues to it. But um, when you do need to crouch down, when you need to sit down, when you're transiting, uh, you will need to unzip, in my opinion, to sit down properly, to sit down comfortably, uh, or you'll just see, feel this pressure at this angle you can see here, like that. I usually bring this coat about if I'm gonna be hopping in the car. Um, I would just not wear it in the car. Um, you can unzip, but uh, I did wear it a few times in the car before. Uh, and if you don't uh, flush it, kind of like a skirt with the ladies, if you don't flush it when you sit down, uh, you will eventually sit on the flap of the fishtail. 
which causes a lovely crease. And although Gore-Tex kind of self heals itself with the creases, uh, it does take anywhere from four to five days, in my opinion, for it to settle out completely. So I just avoid wearing it when I'm sitting in the car. As for several layering ideas, uh, this is actually one of my go-to. This is a Uniqlo fluffy yarn fleece thing, I think. It's like 20 bucks Canadian on sale. Uh, this is my go-to outfit really these days. Uh, all I do is wear this when I go walk with my kid outside. Um, it is good for, I'd say anywhere from eight to four degrees, this range with the fluffy yarn. Uh, you could wear a Mion IS inside and you'd be good to like two or three degrees or you can wear the Thorium AR or the Patrol Liner for my purposes um, and it works till negative one, negative two. And you'd be good. That's when I swap out to a node. A new addition to the video is what I would call the Swish Index, which is the swishy sound it makes uh, when you're walking with your arms swinging about. I would rate it as nine out of 10 since it is uses a 40 denim base and it is Gore-Tex Pro and Gore-Tex Pro's are usually more stiff. So if that is a factor for you, please do keep it in mind. I hope this video was helpful for you in deciding whether the Monitor Coat is a good choice for you. Um, you should have great success in finding one brand new or off secondhand, off grailed, or there are many valent stockists that still have stock uh, due to the uh, archival releases a few months ago. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like me to review next and I'll see if I have it in my own collection. Uh, until the next time, see you later.